Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, I'm super excited because today we are trying some of our new builds. We have some clan mechs in the making, we have some new weapon systems coming online, and I also want to up optimize, optimize, I want to upgrade and optimize at the same time, that is optimize this guy here, our Marauder 2, the super heavy mech that we got. Why? Uh, because we didn't really take a look at that guy yet. We just played it as is. And it's just a minor thing that I'm going to do, but it will have a tremendous impact. I realized we don't have any sensor, we don't have any targeting system, and we don't have any gyro built in. And that's the thing that we will change now for a great effect. I'll show you guys. We're going to start with the sensor systems. And um, since we already have the predictive targeting as a quirk, which means uh, we know where to lead our shots because of the little reticle, we don't need any fire control system that provides that. Instead, we can put anything in here that helps us with anything else. And as it happens to be, we got a targeting computer advanced ballistic lying around that we are not utilizing right now, which is insane because we have 40% less spread, 40% uh, less spread distance. So uh, our shots will fly a little further before they actually start scattering. Um, then we have projectile speed modifier 20%, seriously good. Ballistic damage 15%. Super good for us. And the most important thing, ballistic cooldown. The negative 20% ballistic cooldown is going to be tremendous. Because right now, we have an amazing cooling because of the cold nature of the Hyper Assault Gauss weapons. Which means we, we are kind of bottlenecked in damage output. We can go way higher in our heat buildup. How do we help with that? More cooldown. Or actually, less cooldown. So we can fire faster and actually maybe even reach our heat cap. So again, we are not kind of utilizing that, that big threshold. And uh, I'm going to put that in here now, and we're going to have some fun with it. Look at that. Look at how the damage output goes up like that. Oh boy. I love it. The damage per second, plus 16 from 45. That's amazing. Wait, 245? Yeah, 245. From 29 to 45. That is absolutely fantastic, and we're going to deal so much damage with this. Lower cooldown and more damage. Mind blown. Absolutely. Now, the other thing that we don't have is a sensor, so I could go for a 360 degree field of view with the sensor modification of 25%. How does that impact my sensor range from 1400 to plus 290? But we also got the sniper sensor, which gives us a flat 500. And I like that a lot. So let's go with this. Again, we have this kind of predictive targeting. And I know we don't really shoot at 2000 meters. These guys have a range cap at 2200 meters i mean we could technically shoot at maximum range but you know we would only deal zero damage basically so the way damage works here is you deal 100 percent damage until optimal range and i don't know if that actually applies to all weapons but that's what i learned from mech warrior online and i think it's the same here so optimal range 100 percent damage and then there's uh, the difference between optimal and maximum range and then the curve flattens which means that uh the further you go above your optimal to your maximum range the further your damage will drop so if you have um the optimal range and then half of your optimal range again you deal 50 percent damage that's what i'm saying i hope you can follow me my math is weird we also don't have a gyro quickly changing the topic so that we don't have to write an angry comment about my math and the gyro um is a thing that we can put in here i'm not thinking about any xl xxl because we don't have the slots but we could go for something like a mobility gyro gives us a little bit of extra speed and i like speed i like mobility a lot we are also horribly under tonnage i just realized how do we change that seriously we are already maxed out on armor we are already maxed out on slots so again we have some bottlenecks here that we are not really utilizing correctly clan endo hold up hold up hold up hold up all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got composite. Composite lowers your structure by 50%. Makes us more vulnerable, but we have black carapace, which means the enemies will never get to our structure because our armor, our first layer of defense, will always self-repair. To a certain extent, it will not always go to, like, full pristine status again. But most of the time it will, and we are running a super heavy mech, which has a crazy amount of armor plates to begin with. And it has a structure quirk. And the cool thing about composite is it lowers your structure, but it takes away the slots by maintaining the same weight. 
That is amazing. We freed up some room. Now, we have like three tons. What are we doing with three tons? We don't need more cooling, that's for sure. We have an active probe already. We have an ECM already. Both of the clan variety. Um, let's see what we got. Um, mm, no, not here. This is cooling. We don't need cooling. Ah. Oh. All of a sudden, this uh, XL Gyro seems very, very tempting. Look at this. So, I don't need more speed on this guy. We will we outrun most of our um, lance mates anyway. Now we have even more weight. Could we actually put something like a missile weapon in this mech? Or maybe even an energy weapon? Uh, let me think about it. Okay, the probe can go here. So we have a floating slot here. If I put something uh, into the side which takes two slots, uh, I'm gonna show you real quick, then the floating slot will go to the center. No? Huh? Should, I believe. Well, well, well. Wanna have an energy weapon? Give me... Oh my god, can I take this clan ear PPC that we got? Wait a second. I need to check this out. Doesn't work like this. If I put it in first and then the ballistic again. No? Ah, oh, come on. This is... Ah, this is the flo floating slot from the other guy. Never mind. All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we can do it. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Now we have a clad ERPPC on top of everything else. It doesn't really synergize well with our battle computer and... Yeah, the battle computer, basically. But it is another weapon. And it kind of uses up our heat management a little bit. Heat per second is now 6.4. Our cooling is 4.8. Hmm. Weird. A little bit weird. But our damage goes... Even higher. The big question is really, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Alpha damage goes to 160. <laughs> That's a lot, man. I want to try this. I absolutely want to try this. So, um, a little bit more cooling would be nice. How could I get more cooling in? I know, the clan doubles are fine and good, but proto double heat sinks would be way better. Because... Uh -huh, they lower our... No, actually, proto double heat sinks only start working when you stack them. And when you have, when you want to really push down a very high build-up, like a, like a high alpha heat... Uh, can be pushed down by um, by proto double heat sinks quite a lot, but this is not a high alpha heat. This is just low alpha heat that we don't cool properly. Let me check that. Mm. It goes down by by what? Yeah, this is not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. I'd be better off putting another clan double or like an inner sphere double in here. But how do we how do we get the ton? Um so this is what I want to do. This should be fine. And you know what? I think I can drop a little bit of leg armor. Who needs leg armor anyway? And as I said earlier, I am pretty, pretty confident that we are not getting hit into our structure at all with the black carapace around. Even if we go to 90 armor on the legs. Guys, I think we just made the mech way better than it was before. And I'm very excited to play around with that. Just a casual 7 million Seabills refit. Sure, I got the money, I'm gonna do that. At this point of the game, guys, we are just experiencing new builds. Uh, this Banshee is gonna get dropped, by the way. I want to... Drop the LB axis, the large laser, the ammo, double, and everything else can go. I don't want this Banshee anymore. This is okay, I'm gonna take this out as well. So another 800,000? Is this worth it for two LB-10 autocannons of tier 4 rating? I feel like it's not. Maybe I sell it as a bulk. Since I, I want to hunt clan stuff anyway at this point. Yep. Sell it as a whole. You can have it. 5 million C-builds. Boom. There we go. There's also the pretty baby. When I make it a PPC board and I already ta uh, have taken a look at it. It's kind of awkward because I, I was thinking that we could make a great energy board out of it. Problem is... One hard point here, one here, two in the center, one on each arm. That is kind of like a very weird design. And it doesn't really it doesn't really feel like we can make it consistent, coherent. Um, in terms of uh, weapon convergence and stuff like that. But we will try. We will try. But that's a thing for later. 
All right, guys. That being said, I'm gonna bring some of my mechs back. Uh, we have the Silver Bullet Gauss King Crab, which also needs a rebuild, but I don't want to spend too much time here. Go to the bench. Uh, this is... Long term, no. I want the other one. This is Gauss guy. So, we have a lot of mechs. We have a lot of time. And we're gonna play a mission, so the clan tech will be mine. We go here, right? Amal, Battlefield. And demolition and a raid. That's perfect. Let's do it. I am excited, guys. Also, are the Warhammers already built? Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because we... Yeah, we will feel some of our mechs that have the new build. And I want to start with... Um... Start with demolition. The Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles are really good for that. And that's the amount of stuff that I can get. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Kurita. They don't like us. I'm gonna do it anyway, though, because we're here. So, Marauder, definitely. Um, support from the Carapace, sure. Support from an arrow carrier? Mm-hmm. Fine. Silver Bullet Gauss. Uh, you are under tonnage and being worked on? What happened here? I don't know. Don't care. What, what's, what's happening? Oh, I oh I forgot we have the the laser boat. The laser boat also wanted to be rebuilt. Yeah, I think I had a Gauss and a bunch of lay. I want to play with this Marauder too as well at some point. Um, but yeah, at, at the moment we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna play one mech at a time. Oh, we are about we're about to get host with the salvage because we are over tonnage. Yeah, we need that seventy-five tonner. I forgot about it. All right, all right, all right, all right. We go in with three. Three should be enough. Since we are playing Demolition, I definitely want the arrow, because that thing will deal a lot of damage. And then we have the Carapace with Ballistics, which can also uh, deal a lot of individual sources of damage to structure, and uh, they tend to fall very quickly. They don't have a lot of health. They're just a lot of individual tiles that you have to destroy on the battlefield. So therefore, Rate of Fire is good. Or Splash, AoE. Let's go. I want to see how much damage we can do now. Also, my weapon groups are oh, horrible. Horrible to manage. I got each individual arm. I got my, my high hard point. Now I also got a PPC to manage. <laughs> Put it on the four. Can I, can I have Alpha Strike somewhere? Okay, I'm gonna put the Alpha Strike to the six. Maybe that works. <laughs> okay, let's see if that works. Uh, quick check. Left, right, EPC. Ooh, yellow projectile. And then that. Okay, left, right. Got it. Is this even the base that we have to destroy? It kind of feels like it. They've set up on the high ground somewhere. Means that we're gonna already flatten this. I'm, I, I should probably be careful with my ammunition. And yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a 75% threshold. Let's go. Okay, so I got an alpha strike set up. And I should have checked my velocity of the different weapons. <laughs> well. Uh, because I need to know if my... Stop it. If my, if my weapons align, you know? PPC and the Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles. It would be nice for potential headshotting. It's killable? I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep smashing. Damn. Oh man, why just light mags? Give me some real opponents. Uh huh. Still not enough. There we go. So I tried to push to the high ground and uh, see if we can destroy this real quick. No big opposing forces yet, which is a little bit of a shame. But I love the sound of this. And you can take the scorpion. I'm gonna go for this. So far, so good. And we have 55% of the base already destroyed. Is this part of it? Seems like it. Alpha Strike! 
This is so good. So we have a Zeus coming up with ERPPC. It's a good Zeus. He has ER lasers, ERPPC, LRM-15. And he's dead. That's the power of the Marauder, baby. All right, let's get in here. All right, here we go. Oh, I love that. Look at this. This is this is what I'm talking about. These structures, they fall... <clears throat> Mobility. I have too much. Uh, these structures are... They just fall with one hit. And, and I love it. And... 12%, 11, 10. Oh, we're just gonna smash that. Easiest mission of my life, honestly. And that's it. Down they go. So, kill squad is coming down. And I want to take part in the smashing. Let's go back. Where are they coming from? I mean, I have to evac down there, but my friends have all the fun. Oh, man. Maybe I should have put a supercharger into this mech. But can I even do that? Superchargers have different tiers, and these tiers are locked into certain weapon, uh, uh mech weight classes. So the tier 5 is, for example, I think 85 to 100 ton. And this is 125 toner, so I don't think I can put a tier 5 supercharger into the mech. Unless there is a tier 6 somewhere. And I can do it. Let me think about this. Are we even going in? Is this a waste of time? I feel like we might be better off just getting out of here. I mean, these guys are getting obliterated. We now established that. There's nothing to find here. And our salvage option is relatively low anyway. Just go. Although I'm pretty baffled by the fact... Oh, 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 yes. Oh, baby. Oh, is it my birthday? Let's go. Yeah, I'm baffled by the fact that I didn't drop Assault Max yet. Except for the one Zeus, which was part of the garrison. Speak of the devil. Wifleman. This is so good. I think the ballistic, improved, advanced targeting computer, plus the PPC actually helped a lot. The feeling of the mech. Now it really feels like a super heavy that demolishes everything in its way. Also, he built up his fight. Absolutely fine. And now that we are not optimal in terms of numbers, but we are not firing all of our weapons all the time. We have these little cooldown periods anyway, and it feels very good in a dynamic battlefield situation. Um, don't know what the cooling benefit of this planet is, if there's any, you know, cold environment that we are on, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels... It seems very neutral. It's a scrapyard. And I mean, the vegetation tells me that this is kind of like a... Central European kind of climate zone. Yes, I'm saying European because I'm a European. Okay, here we go. That was good. That was real fun. Again, not the most opposing forces. Maybe I should have started with the war zone instead. And yes, we have some decisions to make. What do we do here? I could take more riflemen. Large poles. Ah. It's pretty good SRM6. Tier 4. Double heats. Do we need more doubles? No, we have 23 lying, lying around. And now we are looking for the Protoss and Clan variety. I'll take more of these riflemen because we can possibly build them at some point and then get some salvage bonuses out of them. And then LRM15 because they are the most efficient LRM launcher that you can get. In my books. I think if you have the slots, the LRM5 would be the best. So if you have unlimited amount of slots, go for LRM5s. But um, usually that's also a bottleneck. Talking about bottlenecks a lot. And, you know, you don't always have a million hard points. So a bunch of 15s go a long way. Um, but yeah, that's it. Do we even have to repair anything? Very mildly. Ah! Ah, perfect. Our Warhammers are coming to life. Now, I know that I had one of them that I wanted to sell. I think it was this one. Yeah, we emptied it completely. So, here are the scrap candidate. And you are the one that I wanted to bi build. What? Both empty? Really? Why? Then not... Wait, what? Oh. I thought I wanted to build something with the mall. Let me think real quick. 
we have this kind of weird situation where we drop a lot of 100 tonners and 125 tonner. That means we have like seven, uh, 25 tons overweight if I want to go with the heaviest of the heaviest. These are 80 tonners. If I take this into consideration, dropping my, my weight a little lower overall and using the hero quirks to maximum efficiency, it would be better than just a random atlas, right? Vectile speed, weapon cooldown 10%, energy heat modifier 10%, energy damage modifier 10 energy optimal and max range. So you want to be something like a an energy boat. Also, your armor bonuses are there. They just exist. It's not a lot. Not at all. Warhammers have the tendency to lose the arms quite often because they are huge. They're absolutely huge. But then we also have the 10% cooling here. Not cooling, but weapon heat generation modifier. 10% less heat buildup. And then a bit of extra speed because of a clan mech. I like I like mobility, guys. I don't like the walking simulator part because the faster you can tra traverse over the battlefield, the quicker you can finish the mission, the more salvage you get. You know, it's just about gathering equipment faster because you can finish the missions faster. I don't care about the upkeep. No, it's fine. And this is a decent mech. It has a lot of options. So, two of these malls would actually help a lot already. I, mm, I want to keep them around. I need to. I just need to. <sighs> so, the other one, the Rack Dude, is not ready yet. But how long do you take, buddy? Let me quickly check the timeline. Um, 32 days. I guess that's a yes for me. Sure. Uh, click the next event button a bunch of times because I want to get there. And I want to see what we can do with it. It is the Rock Hammer. 14 days. Okay. Here we go. So, let me quickly check the build before we go in. This is the thing that we built last time. Uh, we got uh, three, no, four rotary auto cannons, two Rock 5s, two Rock 2s. It might be a little bit too much. Our damage per second is amazing. And yeah, there's also a thing that I <clears throat> that I quickly want to address. I last time, last time I was playing, I was like, man, this guy is so much on the edge with everything. I don't know if we have enough ammo. I don't know if we have enough cooling, but I feel like this should be good enough. And uh, in terms of cooling, and then uh, there were some remarks uh, making fun of me, like, yeah, there's obviously a heat per second of two, and obviously a weapon per second of nine. But then again, I have this kind of like experience feeling that it might be enough anyway because again of the dynamic of the battlefield these numbers mean not a lot only on paper in a combat scenario where these rotary auto cadence will jam and have extended times where they will not fire and we have natural cooling again i think we should be fine we don't have a cockpit upgrade yeah, where are cockpits again they are somewhere somewhere hidden right i don't know if we have a cockpit upgrade right now Drone doesn't go here. Nope. No, 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 no. No, it's fine. If we can find a small advanced cockpit, we get another ton. And then we can utilize that for another heat sink or so. But we will see about it. I want to drop all the bullets here, so let's go. Most important thing before we do anything else, though. I need to paint this guy. And I think we're going to paint everything black and red again. Sure. Apply all. Here we go. Now we have a proper Warhammer 2C. Oh, look at this guy. The rack nipples are strong in this one. Let's see if we can manage it. The heat, the damage, and... Uh, I don't think a battlefield is good here. Let's play Raid with him. He's rather fast. And again, he can spit bullets galore. So, now we're gonna take this guy out, and we're gonna take this rock dude in. The big question is, do we take another 100 tonner? Go with this, or... We put the Marauder into the section again and just accept three negative salvage. I think I like my salvage more than anything, so we're gonna go with, uh, yeah, the Atlas. This is the Gauss Atlas with LRM, so some long-range support might go a long way. Why is Mantis still here, by the way? She's dead. I will make this quick. Maybe she's healthy again. Ooh, wait a second. Is this just a status that you can fix? He's a 58 pilot anyway. Why would I run here? Let's go with this. Sure. 
69, nice. 62 would also be way better. We have like crazy, crazy pilots. Especially if we, fa if we can find a ballistic one. Sensors up and we might get there. Six out of 12. Love it. All right, so I'm ready. I hope you're ready. What we need to do while we are, when we are dropped on the battlefield is... Uh, we gotta set up the weapon groups correctly. I think Once a selected number of arms taken out, and torso. Exactly. And then left and right as well. You'll have to recon the precise objectives on site. This area is heavily Wrong way. Guarded, so watch out for hostile reinforcements. See. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Like this. Now the other way around. Yeah, all right, we got it. So. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. <laughs> Look at the spread. <laughs> all right, Manticore. Here comes the Daka. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> Our cooling is very good, isn't it? Oh my god. Short controlled bursts. That's what we need to do. Uh, you could really see the weapon convergence. Look at the arm weapons. Um, they're sometimes crossing the line because it's kind of weird. And the torso weapons are, I would say, more accurate. They spread more. They definitely spread more, but the weapon convergence coming from the center is way better. Friends? Help? There's a very nasty grasshopper aiming my way. I don't like it. Oh my god, this is so inefficient. <laughs> but it's fun. It is so much fun. Let's take the Rack 5s for a second. Yeah, we need more cooling. We definitely need more cooling. I, I get you guys, I get you. I just had a feeling, and that feeling was wrong, obviously. But that's the thing I can do. You know, just shoot like that. Stagger shooting, burst shooting. And here's the thing, this mech is heavily quirked for rotary autocannons and still does such a poor job at getting getting the spread um, in, in check. That's insane. We need to find another way. Oh, there's a blackjack, right? Is it a blackjack? Uh-huh, Igor. I mean, our enter air targeting is great. We can just trace these guys. The important thing is that we don't over Oh, we triggered the second base. Oh my god. Uh huh. Coming missile. And naturally, the build, um, the stock build of this mall. No, not the mall. The rock hammer. It. Okay. Um, it had four autocannon twos. Rotary autocannon twos. And I think this is the right way. The rock fives are just too much. They are too heavy. They build too much heat. And uh, I think the original build might be just what we want to build. But we didn't have the twos. We only had some fives lying around. Oh, this is so much fun. You can see the Shadowhawk is taking the bullets to every component. Legs, chest, sides, arm. Hmm. Voice is breaking. Which means that we, uh, we deal damage to all of his armor plates without destroying him. And again, this is not efficient, but hell is this fun. So good. It's just a... Oh, there it is. Okay. It's just another way to play the game. And I love it. So if I just shoot the Ruck 2... That's good enough. As soon as they jam... I'm gonna go for something else. Yeah, that might be it. So. We have more Ruck 5 ammo than we have Ruck 2 ammo. Wait, is that a statement that is true? Not necessarily. No, no, no. So if I go for any random shooting, then I should take the twos. Ah, also, that means we have more ammo bins for the five than for the two. Oh, I think we are kind of on par. But you can see, we have way more Dakas still left over for the Ruck 2 uh, weapon system, which means it has a better ammo efficiency, which means that it would be better for the build anyway to run the Ruck 2s, because it saves you weight, and weight is still a bottleneck on this mech. Again, another bottom mech. Holy crap. 
Science of building explained by the Baradu today. So yeah. But hey, I'm really good against tanks and le these, these little low health targets. It's perfect. That's an urban mech. Sub-urban mech. Yeah, PPC. Of low health target, I'm gonna go for this. Very nice. Man, I love this raid. And honestly, I like this mech, but we need to make it better. We can. We have the technology. No, not, not yet. Not really. I cannot always make the $6 million man quote, huh? There you are. That is a hatchet man. That is a shutdown. In the meantime, my big bad stompy boys are going in. Perfect. Another suburban man. You know what? I think predictive targeting would be very nice here as well, but the advanced ballistic is the thing that we definitely need. Absolutely. freaking lovely. And honestly, I feel... Just a feeling, but I feel like we have... We have no lights on. <clears throat> no, we have uh, too much Rock 2 ammo. Too little Rock 5 ammo. Rah. Uh, another thing that I wanted to check, just for science, before we finish the mission, I need to quickly ramp down the rocks. In the lower right corner, you can see a thing. And I want to check a thing. How is the build-up, the jam build-up from these rocks? Alright, here we go. We're gonna shoot everything at the same time. Obliterating everything here. So it seems like the fives has a, have a longer ramp-up time. Interesting. Interesting. But I think there might be also, we need to check that as well, there might be higher tier, so that might be the difference there. Check it out. But also take it in the mech lab, I believe. I don't know if there's a representation for that. Like a stat for ramp up, ramp down. We'll see. But yeah, since there's no kill team coming, we're just gonna go now. Again? Very low salvage quality. I don't know what's going on here. But I'm okay getting some random stuff and then just sell it so, so that we have the money to build more builds. Alrighty, some goodies while we go. And we're out of here. Beautiful mission. So the next mission is gonna be a war zone. And I do believe that I wanna play that again with the Black Carapace Marauder 2. Because when the enemies bring waves and waves of, of mechs, then I think I want to check this as a benchmark to how quickly can we kill them. We got two grass, uh, three grasshopper parts, so we're gonna take two at the very least, so we can finish that. Other than that, none of these mechs matter. I mean, there's, at the very least there's a double heatsink kit, but we don't need it. Arch laser tier 4. Yes, let's go. They might still be relevant if we can upgrade them to tier 5. Get some Urbies. That guy has an XL? No, just the doubles. Alright. Mmm, a 1 ER PPC. It's tier 5, but a man can dream to upgrade that at some point. I don't know. Double heat sinks. Yeah, again, the quality of salvage here was amazingly bad. That's the rock build, guys. Definitely need to go back to the drawing board. Um, it's not quite there. Not quite. I was, I was, I was so shocked when I was looking at these guys. I was like, "What happened to my mech?" But no, it's here. It's here. Okay, quick check. Get twenty percent damage upgrade and uh, ten percent less heat generated. These guys are tier five, but they don't seem to represent the the jam build up and the cooldown. And the rock twos are tier one, so there might be the difference. Pretty sure it is. I think in order to make the make good is we just drop a rock too. Ooh. Put some cooling in, put some more ammo in. Build done, so we can fire all the time. See, damage doesn't mean anything if you don't have the cooling. It's another bottleneck. This time the other way around. You can only fire as much as you have the heat capacity. And if you don't have it, you cannot fire your weapon at all, so your damage drops to zero. Or, no, to very low because you need to chain fire or something. And 
that's another takeaway for today. Give me a second. What about we drop the rock 2 altogether and we're just gonna streamline it with another rock 5? And then I don't think we have the ammo for it, but it would be a nice thing. Uh, where's ammo? Actually! Actually! Now, would you look at that? Three rock fives! Not enough ammo! <laughs> Still pretty low, I would say. Also, ammo! Another bottleneck. Um. Hmm. This makes our heat management way better. Also, our damage goes up. Alright. Alright. I mean, heat, heat management goes low. Like, 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 is it worse right now? Because the Rock 5 seems to build up more than the Rock 2. Uh, than two Rock 2s, obviously. Uh, but we have weight to work with. And that weight is gonna go into... You guessed it right. Cooling. It's a plan double heat sink kit. Alright, so we're gonna put some... Let me see. Regular doubles into here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. What now? Drop the structure? No, that gets us to 80. Damn it. Uh, wait, not the structure. The armor. Uh, what did we have here? Clan structure? Yeah, that's right. So we got one slot. Um, so, whenever you want to drop some of these things that take slots away, take armor first because... Armor brings you less uh, benefits. See? Now we can put some more cooling into the mech. Alrighty then. Alrighty. I need a proto double heat sink. Put it in the head because it... It can explode there, right? I mean, if anything explodes, we have a problem. Ah, alright. So, uh, repair all, obviously. I want to put another heat sink into this mech. A regular double could be here put it here for crit padding and now we drop the leg armor again but don't we have patchwork we have patchwork patchwork is quite nice you can put a patchwork into uh one patchwork per component so you cannot stack them um but i can put a patchwork tier one here actually if we put it here get the tier two in here yeah, yeah, no Tier 2 in here. That would be nice. Alright. Seems good. Now we actually have extra... Um, extra weight. And that weight wants to go into arm actuators. Yeah, can I find them? Upper spike? No, we did. I wanted upper harden, so we take less damage. 5% damage reduction would be very nice on each arm. I have it on my melee mech. No, they are have spiked as well. So yeah, something like, uh, like like an arm actuator. I could also use a weapon mount heat, if that was available for cooling this rotary auto cannon a bit better. But these items are on different mechs right now. It means we don't need that patchwork. It's fine. For the moment, for the moment, I just want to run it like this. There we go. It takes me another two million C builds away because oh. Even because we are doing it in a conflict zone. But you know what? I'm here for the science aspect of this. Again, efficiency, um, like money efficiency, is not one of our biggest concerns right now. I just want to test and experience new builds. So we will do exactly that. On to the battlefield with you. Very hot in this area. Um, but anyway, I'll build or play the same thing again. Yeah, it's a good squad. Let's do it. I wait another 80 days, which probably also gets us another financial report, another upkeep cost here. But again, not one of my concerns. I want to have fun. And not spend meaningless time in space, you know, going back to the hub, building there, coming back, and, uh, you know, spend another five minutes of uh, boring video stuff. Alrighty. Triple Rock 5? I think that should do the job, especially with the extra cooling that we put on the mech. I still believe it could need a bit more. Like a lot more. A hell lot more. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see about it. Let's check it out. 
The Rock 5, the single Rock 5. Actually, oh, did I read that wrong? Oh, I was looking at the, at the wrong statistic there, right? I was looking at the damage upgrade, not the heat upgrade. Yes, now that I realized it. I was too excited. We'll see how this works now. Check it out. Lights on! Let's go. So playing Battlefield. Battlefield means waves and waves of enemies coming towards us. We can rack up. <laughs> Let's rack it up. But remember, you have to be alive to spend it. Come back safe. All right, that's how we do it. And here they come. Where would you drop? Outside of it. All right. Let's try to get on this little ridge here. Maybe we can squeeze through. Um, as quickly as possible, because I want to attack them from right here. Come on, Mac, you can do it. Yeah, good. So they bring Centurions. It's pretty good. Oh boy, it's still damn toasty. Well, well, well. But we wait for the light, Max. Oh wait, this is bad. This is a bad position for us because my friends have no idea how to maneuver. All right, let's go down again. Let's try to face them directly. You know what? We don't have to be in the base. We can just play around it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go. More of that, please. What? Look at him go! Wow! That was, that's insanely good, but also insanely hot. Yeah, weapon, weapon mount heat. I feel this build could really benefit from proto heat sinks because it generates a lot of heat very quickly. Proto double heat sinks prevent you from generating heat. They are not cooling as efficiently as other um, cooling systems, but the heat buildup reduction is amazing. And that is a Hunchback 2C with two Ultra 20s. I want it, and I'm actually happy that we finally see some clan tech again. Let's, let's go left side. I want to be in somewhat open terrain with a little bit of cover around me so I can dive back when I need to. Oh, the spread is still massive. Also, it didn't seem like we dealt damage to the guy, huh? Because we, ah, we have a 500 meters range. Okay, okay. gotta get close. Question is the same for uh, no the uh, the rock two should have a longer range technically speaking right base range target destroyed. melted target away destroyed. obliterated completely wow let's go for the marauder let's see how fast we can kill this guy you know what I want to try to go for his legs because uh, marauders have a narrow profile and uh, will absorb the damage to all of the components. Just the leg sweep. And they also have the narrow profile quirk, which gives them the chance to avoid 15% of the incoming fire altogether. But here's the cool thing. You can get really unlucky, shoot a single big PPC shot at a Marauder, and he avoids it because of that quirk. But if you have a million bullets, relatively speaking, you always deal damage. When you engage. I'm back. Like that. That's a lot. Oh boy. I'm attracted too much fire. <laughs> that for a good reason. Um, yeah, I like the build. But, oh my god. That's a lot of damage that I'm receiving. Almost got him. No, not really. Hey, stocks. Get wrecked. This is a great ambusher, coming around the corner, unloading a hail of bullets, and then going back to cover. I think this is how I should play it. This is not an open field brawler, because it attracts so much fire. Dudes! I love the build. I like it even more than I like my Marauder, the Ruck Marauder. Because we got three rucks instead of two. Can't deny it. I mean, get the bullets in the sky. I'm in love. Oh. Yeah. 
I should stay in motion. Because the more you move, the less the enemies have a chance to hit you. Okay. What are you, a kid fox? No, Hornet. Gonna pepper the sky with bullets. Now we are hot. Alright. Let's cool down a bit. But as I was saying earlier, cooling is better. Way better. We lower our... Oh, no, wait. Actually, we don't lower that. Um, no. We are fast with the cooling. That's what I said. <laughs> Too many words in my brain. Some of them need to come out. I hope in the right order. All right. A little hornet still here. There were enemies behind us as well. Yeah, go there. I'll take care of this. Ah, here he comes. Uh, I want to cool down anyway. Might as well send my friends over to engage early. Where are you? No! Not the other way around! Oh, you little backstabber with your LRM-5 and your medium laser puny little weapon, stay here! I want to obliterate you! Enough of you. Oh, you swatted him. Alright, cool. Uh, Rihanna, that's the thing. Rihanna just said bad news that there are more hostiles inbound. I would say that is pretty good. So good, man. So good. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is a Warhammer 2C. Sweep the legs, we need the clan stuff. On the legs, buddy. Yeah, nice. That's a heavy PPC Gauss, dude. Oh, I'm on the Thunderbolt, I guess. Where's my cover? Alright, I'm staying here. Too hot. Ah! Cool thing is that I can manage the, the build up a lot, the, the jam build up. It's so good. The chain firing out of this. 99% heat. He stopped at the right moment. Yeah, what a battlefield, guys. What a freaking battlefield. This Warhammer. 2C. Could have stood in the cooling, by the way. Yeah, no heat problems when I'm standing in water. Um, you know what? That being said, let's get greedy. I know that we have a lot of stuff already on the board, but I need to check. If I'm standing in the water, setting up here, can we destroy Max without a problem? Let's see. Mr. Zeus. Consider it done. Consider it done. Brrrt. Yeah, man, rocks go brrrt. That's it. How many missiles? Not a big problem, we got AMS. Ammo low. Yeah. That is the bottleneck again and that's a sent down so what's left 400 shots 400 shots the mission mustn't be any longer honestly still on the low end I would say if we face more assault mags which needs some more time to kill then I would say we have a problem and in these extended missions the like super late game missions we definitely need more than that. Why, why am I doing this? Uh, let's get out of here. Let's just go. We have proven a point already. The mech works. A job well done it's not quite there yet. Stand by the not quite. Up. What type of engine are we running on this? Maybe we can lower it a bit. And then put more cooling into the mech. And more ammo if we find if we find it. Oh boy! I mean, that Proto Double Heatsink kit is a no-brainer. I will certainly take it. It's Ultras? Oh, that is a Clan LRM 15 Warhammer 2C, and I am all about it. Hell yeah, we'll take that. I want the Clan 20s. Oh my, I want everything. I want everything so bad. Uh, the Hunchback, hmm. I want to build the laser hunchback, not the uh, not the ultra hunchback. Maybe I should settle with it and have some fun with ultra auto cannons. See, we have one pick left. W what are we picking with one pick? All of the things that I don't get. Also, this proto heat sink, not kit, but heat sink is good. Any clan LRMs? Oh, there's a double bin. Ah, oh, tragic, 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 tragic. I needed one more pick to get that. 
you know, setting up for a clan LRM build, and you know I want that. If you've followed my Rogue Tech uh, playthroughs, you know that I'm all about clan LRM spam. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. It also tells me that I shouldn't be that picky. Uh, I would say we have the right amount of options to pick. Proto Double Heatsink Kit is a no-brainer. I want that for massive cooling. 30% less heat buildup from this kit alone is gonna be what we need for you know who. Then there are two Warhammer parts. Yeah, let's get that. That's a good mech. It's a mech that we want to salvage the LRM 15s out of. We might get the clan structure and Pharaoh, the engine, and then scrap the chassis for money. That's that's a no-brainer. All right, so our last pick is going to be I don't know. Let's get medium laser. Boom. Four thousand damage. What? Can can you see? Can I go? Four thousand damage. That is a lot of damage. It's very undirected. But it kind of spreads. Holy crap. Uh, by the way, um, oh, this is our error atlas. Never mind. So the numbers are naturally low because of the splash damage. That is actually the damage. This is just little low impact and then pff, massive AoE. That is not being calculated into this. Uh, but 4,000. It's over 9... No, it's not over 9,000. But you know what I mean. It's a lot. Okay, one more thing. The last thing that we're going to be doing today is taking a look at it again and seeing that we are running a 320 rated core. I think our friend here, first of all, can benefit from the Proto Double Heat Sync Kit. Let's check it out real quick. So, heat is 9, cooling is 2. <clears throat> now, heat is 5, let's say 6. Cooling is still 2. Ah, cooling is about three. Yeah, but you know the difference is so much big, uh, so much smaller now. So it kind of gets uh, gets aligned a bit better. Cool less, but we build up so much less, and that is what we want. Maybe this allows us to run the three twenty anyway. But yeah, if we get the three hundred rated one in, we still have two slots in the double uh, for uh, double heat sinks or proto heat sinks or whatever. We lower the weight by, like, a big margin. Any engine here? No. Um, that allows us to drop the patchwork, to drop the double, and put more protos or more clan doubles into this mech to push down the heat even further. And then we have a build. And then I think, honestly, two more tons of ammo is a minimum here in order to run this guy reliably. Hey, but we are on a good way. I love it. And if you love the video, guys, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.